too much electric current can damage electronic components. Resistors like these keep circuits working by directing the right amount of currents to the right places. But how do resistors work? Imagine your water tank at home. If the pipes are blocked, then the flow of water is reduced. Whereas if the pipe is clear, then the flow of water is stronger. In an electric circuit, a bigger flow of electrons bumps into the atoms of the conducting material more, generating resistance and reducing the flow of electrons. So if we introduce an obstacle or increase the length of the pipe, then the electric current will be reduced. And this is how resistors work. Now the two types of resistor we normally use in an electronic project are these. This dark brown one, a carbon film resistor, and this blue one, a metal film resistor. Now if we were to scratch off the layer of paint on the outside, what we'd see is this. We have an insulating rod with spirals of conducting material. Now just like a loop of wire, these spires of conducting material, which can sometimes be cut into the resistor with lasers, offer a longer path and hence more resistance to the flow of electrons. And the greater the number of spirals, the greater the resistance. Resistance is measured in ohms, represented by the Greek symbol omega. We calculate resistance using the formula known as Ohm's law, which is I equals V over R, or current I equals volts divided by resistance in ohms. There are many different types of resistors. Here are some of them. Fixed resistors, like the carbon and metal film ones we've seen, give a fixed value of resistance. And we'll mention how to work out how much resistance the resistor offers in a minute. A thicker film resistor, like these, can ha handle a greater amount of power. So these can handle a quarter of a watt, and these can handle two watts of power. Our second type of resistor are variable resistors, or potentiometers like these. And these are so called because we can vary the amount of resistance they offer. So they'll have a maximum resistance value, which is sometimes written on the front of the resistor like this. So this is a 10k ohm, which means 10,000 ohm resistor. This is the maximum amount of resistance it offers. And we can increase or decrease the resistance by turning the dial like so. Even the potentiometers with the same resistance value can work differently. So make sure you check the data sheet uh, from the manufacturer. And as you can see, many different packages of pots available. Here are some of them. Yet another type of resistor are these LDRs. And the way LDRs work is that the greater the amount of light, the lower the resistance. But again, some LDRs are manufactured differently. So their relationship to the light intensity, you know, how much resistance they give according to how much light there is can actually be the reverse. So be sure to check the manufacturer because even though LDRs can look the same, they can actually give very different maximum and minimum resistance ratings. So be sure to check with the manufacturer before buying them. The last type of resistor we're going to look at is this. And this is a thermistor. And as you might be able to guess from the name, it varies the resistance in according to the temperature. Going back to our fixed resistor, you might wonder how is it we're able to tell the resistance of this? And we would say through the color coding stripes on the body. The way the resistor color code works is that each stripe represents a number. The first stripe represents the first digit. The second stripe represents the second digit. The third stripe is known as the multiplier. And this represents the amount of zeros we have to add to the first two to give us the resistance value. The last stripe is the tolerance. And this shows how accurately, if we were to put the resistor in the circuit, the actual tolerance it gives us compared to the value written on here. So this is a gold stripe, which means it has a 5% tolerance. So if we have a 100 ohm resistor with a gold stripe, that means it should give us 95 or 105 ohms. And in this case, you can see the resistor is orange, white, black, which means the resistance value it gives is orange, three, white, nine, 
black times one, which means no zeros. So here we have a 39 ohm resistor with a 5% tolerance value. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos and feel free to like, comment and subscribe.